In this video, I'm going to tell you about five of the magic tricks of the specialized Mastermind TCU computer right here, especially when working with their Mission Control app. Okay, I've been a Levo owner since day one when Gen 3 first came out, also previously, but on the Gen 3, they have the Mastermind TCU. And I go, oh my God, that's pretty cool. But I haven't really updated, played with it so much since I got my initial settings. And recently I got this 2024 Gen 3 Levo. I think it's the Carbon Pro. And uh, because they, I'm, I'm gonna have a shootout, subscribe to the channel, by the way, so you can see the shootout of the, the best full powered e-bikes around. And, and when I opened it up, I go, oh my God, there's a lot of new things here. You know, I've been waiting for the next Levo, but really they've been updating the Mastermind and Mission Control all these months. So I'm gonna tell you about the five surprises uh, that I got. So what is the Mastermind TCU? It's that little computer here on the top tube that takes the place of the battery indicator and the switch on cheaper models. They still, they still sell both, this one is in more expensive models. And it comes with three screens and a few pieces of data uh, out of the factory. But man, there's like 30 to 50 pieces of data. You can have 10 screens if you want uh, when, when, if you personalize this. So the true power of this machine is when you configure it to your preferences. Use the mission control to add pages, reduce pages, make the fonts bigger. The first and new trick of the Mastermind TCU and the Levo is jump statistics. What? Jump statistics. All right. I think you can get this on a Garmin, but to see it here integrated is crazy. All you got to do is you got to configure your mission control to show you jump statistics. So I'm going to show you right here what is going on. So the top button on your remote is to paginate. And on one of my pages there are three jump statistics. So the first one is Here we go, jumps. How many jumps did you do on, on a given trail? So it says I did four jumps. My last jump was, had a distance of 59.1. Since I'm Imperial, it was probably 59.1 inches. And the duration was 0.42, so about half a second. I got some air. All right, so I did four jumps. This morning, oh man, my back hurts. Because when I saw it, I go, I gotta try it. And I did some bunny hops. Bunny hops don't work. It works with the accelerometer, so you need a real jump. If you just bunny hop, uh, it, you don't have the G-forces needed. So I had, a, I had to get a ramp and I was jumping this ramp. Uh, so it's really cool. I'm not sure how useful it is, but hey, it's already in there. So they said, let's put it in. The next feature that's actually really cool is it can monitor your access now. Uh, your access gear, what gear are you in? And what's your battery level? Right, so I'm gonna show you right here. It's on one of my pages. Okay. Here it is, so it says I'm in gear 11. I switch 10, how many gears do I have? Eight, seven, six, five. So kinda cool, kinda cool. I wish it was, I wish it was bigger, this display. Uh, but now you can see, uh, see what gear you're in because it's, it's kinda hard to tell. Uh, and the other thing is more important is it shows you what's your battery level, your rear derailleur battery level. And this is really, really key because access, one of the biggest problems of access is you, know, you have no idea what the battery level is, right? So what so you're supposed to do is you're supposed to press the button right before you ride. And if it's green, it's good. If it's red, it's no good meaning under 20%. So pain in the neck, because you could be 21%, it can run out during your ride, I don't know. It's just, you have a battery, it's good to have the level, right? So right here, it says 50% battery level. So super cool. All right, the third trick up its sleeve, and this is kinda, whoa, that's pretty high tech, is it can charge your Levo to 80% only. Okay, are you sold? Not really? <laughs> It's not for everyone, but this is the future of e-biking. This shows you how advanced Specialized is when it comes to e-bikes compared to all the rest. So what they're doing here is very tech savvy. Uh, it's an, just an option. So your iPhone and your Tesla uh, already does this. Meaning if you, your iPhone's even smarter. It says, okay, 
We noticed that you never drain your battery uh, during the day, but every night you charge your, your battery, so you're good to go. And after you do that so many times, it says to ex these batteries, when you charge them to full percent, uh, it, it, uh, that's when they experience the most degradation. You know, it's not bad. You, you can still charge this thing a thousand times and still have 80% of your, your capacity. But if you didn't charge it, if you never need 100% charging or you, you rarely need it, then just charge to 80%, just like your Tesla, and you, you prolong the life of your battery. How much longer? I'm not sure, maybe 20, 30%. So it, it's kind of out there. I don't think it's really needed, but if you have an old battery or you re, you're in a real budget, you plan to keep your bike for 10 years, hey, why not? This is the future of batteries, which is smart battery charging because uh, that, that's where they experience most degradation. And so what, what it does is it only charges to 80% and it stops right there. But every 10 charges, it'll charge to 100 because these are lithium cells and they like to be balanced every so often. And the balancing only occurs at 100%. So that's why they do it this way. So a glimpse into the future and you can have it today even for your old Levo. Your, I think should work for your, your Gen 2 Levo as long as you have mission control. The number four trick is you can lock your bike from your, uh, from, from your mission control, meaning you, uh, you, you set the setting lock, you have to register your bike, but what that means is the motor cannot turn on until you have you know, the right code on your mission control. You know, disable the motor, uh, it, it renders the bike, the e-bike useless, uh, and, and they have to contact specialized and whatnot, and they'll, they'll know, hey, you kind of stole that bike. So theft tracking, that's pretty good. Now I wish, that it doesn't stop someone, the problem is it doesn't stop someone from stealing your bike and pedaling away with it with no motor. So I wish it would like, uh, when you say lock, like this won't turn. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Cause then. All right, and the last trick, you might not, it's not entirely new, but I think I saw a few more options, is it can display motor power and rider power, all right? And this is really cool because it's the future, I wish more e-bikes did this, and it helps people understand what's going on with the e-bike, is it's a combination of motor and your leg power. And the more you understand that, the more you're motivated, you know, with your leg power to help the cause. It also shows you the total between the two, that means the stress in your chain and your drivetrain. And it also shows you the ratio. Maybe you want to improve your ratio uh, between um, you know, how much you're working, how much the motor is working. So if you have fitness goals, this is a very useful tool. I wish this thing was bigger. It's so tiny uh, and, and the angle is not quite right. But it really kind of shows you the evolution and how much work these uh, specialized guys are, are, are willing to put into this platform you know, to, to make it better uh, for users and for them to have a competitive advantage. Thanks a ton.